After starting the season two and seven, the Dallas Mavericks have won four out of their last five games, including a 50 point win against the Jazz. Yeah, Rudy, seriously. But just a few days ago, the big story surrounding the Mavs came via a blurb in the ESPN NBA Weekly Power Rankings from Tim McMahon. Quote, don't be deceived by DeAndre Jordan's solid statistics. He has been a major disappointment for the Mavs. He has rubbed teammates the wrong way with what they perceive as selfish play, the most blatant example being when he stole an uncontested rebound from Luka Doncic by putting his forearm in the prize rookie's back and tipping the ball away. Jordan's disinterest in playing help defense has been a big problem as Mavs opponents light up the scoreboard. The next day after the report, Dennis Smith Jr. took to Instagram to defend his new teammate, saying, That news be fake, shoddy. We already know it. Our eyes are on to prize. And the post was liked by Harrison Barnes, Dorian Finney-Smith, Maxi Kaliba, Dwight Powell, Jalen Brunson, Ryan Brokoff, Race Balding, JJ Barea, Mavs development coach, God Sham God, Mark Cuban, Luka Doncic, and even DeAndre Jordan himself. That's essentially the whole team on Instagram, minus Wes Matthews, Salah Mejri, Devin Harris, and Dirk. But Dirk did find time to like this video on Instagram, which is probably inconsequential. Then, former NBA veteran and Mavs assistant coach Daryl Armstrong, with his pops, gave his take on the situation. You know, I'm just here to send out some, some good vibes to DeAndre Jordan, who's one of our leaders of this team. Uh, he's not selfish. He's a guy who plays hard, who tries, who gives energy to these guys. And for an article to come out like that, uh, I don't like it. Uh, I've been a, a veteran leader in my, in my career, and you know, when you lead, and you lead by example, and then you lead by being vocal, that's what leaders do. And nah, stealing rebounds, we need rebounds. <laughs> Man, I'm saying, you know we need rebounds. Um, and that's something big for somebody to say, he's selfish to take a rebound for Luca. Hell, I would have told him, get your little ass up out of there. Also, never forget the DA did a reverse layup in a dunk contest. Then, Mavs owner Mark Cuban responded to the report in a story with the Dallas Morning News. Quote, it's so ridiculous, Mavs owner Mark Cuban told the news. I mean, for God's sakes, we're number one in defensive rebounding after being a horrible rebounding team pre-Jordan. And every guy on the team recognizes that. Cuban also tried to clarify his reaction to the moment when DeAndre Jordan seemingly stole a rebound from Luka Doncic. Quote, I think where the confusion early in the season was, and DeAndre's the first to tell you, he's going after every rebound, Cuban said. Even my reaction. The reaction was, I wanted the ball in Luka's hands because I wanted the fast break but I know DeAndre's going after every rebound. Okay, so everyone on the team side seems to be publicly defending DeAndre, and maybe they're right, and DJ's play isn't selfish, and it hasn't rubbed them the wrong way. That's their prerogative. But is he actually helping on defense? Because that's something we can actually quantify. Let's take a look at some examples. On this play, late in the fourth quarter of a close game, DJ's man, Alex Len, sets a screen for Maxi, and DJ doesn't even attempt to switch. Then Luka's man beats him off the dribble, but DeAndre Jordan doesn't even help off of Mitchell Robinson, who has literally attempted one mid-range shot this season. On this play, Dennis loses the ball and DJ decides to stay back and hopes that Dennis recovers, instead of running back on defense, which leads to a pretty easy and one for LeBron. There's also a great Twitter thread by Andy Larson of the Salt Lake Tribune documenting DeAndre's lack of help defense against the Jazz. So it's not just me or Mavs Twitter. Let's look at a few clips from that thread. Hi, mate. Thanks for letting us score so many points. Yeah, no problem, man. I got you. All right, but in fairness to DeAndre, there are a lot of plays where he's placed in a tough situation. Most of the time when his help is required, it's because one of his teammates is getting beat. Many times that has been Luca or Dennis. 
DeAndre has looked fairly disinterested on defense, and maybe that's because of the Mavs 2 and 7 start, or maybe his disinterest on defense has been a cause of the Mavs 2 and 7 start. Player motivation can be like a which came first, the chicken or the egg scenario. Sometimes it's hard to know if a player was motivated by something or if the factors surrounding the situation caused a player to look motivated. Either way, the Mavs have been playing better as of late, which brings us to the Mavs 50 point win over the Jazz. Even though the Mavs won every quarter in this game for the first time since November 18, 2017, this game wasn't always looking like a blowout. Let's look at the moments that led up to this Mavs 50 point shellacking against the Jazz. It was another awesome Seats for Soldiers night and the Mavs were 11 and two all time going into this game. On one of the first possessions of the game, the Jazz ran an inbounds play for Joe Ingles. DeAndre didn't even attempt to contest, and Carlisle immediately called a timeout after this play. Then, after this West post-up, DeAndre attempts to tip in the ball, but the ref calls offensive basket interference, and DJ is upset, saying he didn't touch it. Then, we see another play where DJ isn't paying attention and doesn't help on defense. Shortly after that, DJ is called for an off-ball offensive foul and he sarcastically claps at the ref and gives him a sassy thumbs up. Then late in the second quarter, DeAndre is called for another foul for pushing Gobert in the back and he can't believe it. Since the Jazz are in the bonus, Gobert goes to the line, but DeAndre interrupts by walking over to Leon Wood in the middle of Rudy's free throw to give Wood a piece of his mind. DeAndre is taken out of the game, and 30 seconds later, Dwight Powell gets called for another off-ball foul against Gobert. DeAndre is livid on the bench and gives some choice words to Wood and his crew. And the Mavs are over the limit. DeAndre gets called for the technical, and you can hear Tony Brothers and Rick Carlisle talking on the sidelines. Just told Tony Brothers he's got rabbit ears. Should have walked away. Well, these are ambient mics are fantastic right now. <laughs> yes, they are skin. So Gobert goes to the free throw line and airballs his shot. The bench is ecstatic. Then on the very next play, Luca gets called for a travel violation against who else? Rudy Gobert. And Luca gets fired up and spouts his sentiment towards the refs. And he also gets called for a technical. With the energy in the building at an all-time high, Luka Doncic loads up and fires a bullet into the air to beat the buzzer. Luka launches it. Oh! He gave it to him. The Mavs rode that energy and outscored the Jazz in the second half 60 to 22. It was an insane finish that even impressed Carlisle. I can't remember a better defensive performance by any Mavericks team in 11 years. But DeAndre hadn't exactly escaped questions about how his teammates feel about him. After the game, Brad Townsend attempted to ask DJ about the online support he received from his teammates, and he was not having it. Hey, so many of your teammates were posting about you the last couple. Well, according to Tim Cato of The Athletic, DeAndre Jordan initially walked away from the question, but then he turned around and said, I'll answer it like this. I've been in the league 10 years. This is my 11th year. I've never heard a teammate say a bad thing about me. This story is far from settled. Even a 50 point win can't completely negate the problems this team has, but until they figure it out, at least they can use it for motivation. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and thanks to everyone who has already subscribed. I'm blown away by the numbers. And you can follow me on Twitter at Nick Van Exit and subscribe to the Lockdown Mavericks podcast wherever you get your pods. Also, if you want to support me and help get more content like this, you can donate via Venmo. My info is in the description. Thanks for watching. Boom.